Hello, my friend. Welcome to this special video proudly brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, and I'm so happy to be with you today. Today, we're going to pray powerful, anointed prayers. We're going to pray, and wherever you are, God is going to touch you and meet you at your point of need. My friend, today we're praying the scriptures. We're going to take the scriptures and unleash the power of the scripture in prayer, and God shall do something mighty in your life. My friend, to find a good person here on earth is very difficult. To find a good man, to find a good woman is very difficult. To find a person who's got a good heart is very difficult and very rare. But I want to pray for you that God will put His divine qualities and characteristics inside of your heart so that God will make you a good person. So that the people in your community will look up to you and they will say, this is a true son of God. This is a true daughter of God. And even as we do that, even as we pray, it shall be established. So we're going to be praying powerful prayers from Psalm 15 and God is going to impact your life. Are you ready? Let us begin. On this channel, we always begin by lifting up the name of Jesus. So wherever you are, take your cell phone, take your device, wherever you're watching this video from, go somewhere private where nobody can disturb you. Just for a few minutes, 5, 10, 15 minutes, and God will touch and change your life forever. Also, my friend, I encourage you to comment and agree with me. There's power in agreement. So comment in the comment section below. Just agree with me. Even as God gives divine authority and power, that power will come into your life so that you can be delivered, so that you can be healed, so that you can be set free, and so that you can go to another level in Christ. Well, without any further delay, let us begin. On this channel, we always begin by lifting up the name of Jesus. So wherever you are, just begin to praise Him. Lift up a praise to the Lord and God will do something mighty. When the praises go up, the blessings come down. Father, you're the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the all-consuming fire. Father, I just worship you and I praise you. Thank you for this time that both myself and my dear friend who's watching this video can come to you and seek you. Lord, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Lord, thank you for this awesome spot, Lord, where we can just come and seek you. Thank you for this beautiful view. Thank you, Lord, for Port Elizabeth, the city of Port Elizabeth. Thank you for your presence and your power that's here in this place today. Lord, we just seek you and we thank you. Thank you for everything that you've started and thank you for everything that you're doing in our lives. Even right now, Lord, when we pray, thank you for the powerful thing that you're going to do in the life of my dear friend who's watching this video. Lord, I thank you that distance is not a barrier for you. I thank you that your Holy Spirit is omnipotent and omnipresent. Lord Holy Spirit, I thank you that you're here and I thank you that you're, the, you're at the place where my dear friend is watching this video. Lord Holy Spirit, I pray that you will touch my dear friend who's watching this video. Do something mighty, do something amazing for the glory of King Jesus. Precious Holy Spirit, you are here and I give over to you. Less of me and more of you. Come and touch the life of my dear friend who's watching this video. Touch the life of my dear brother. Touch the life of my dear sister. Wherever they might be watching, whether it's in India, Canada, America, United Kingdom, wherever it might be, we know that distance is not a barrier. Come and do something for the glory of King Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. My friend, today we're going to be praying powerful prayers from Psalm 15. So what we'll do is we're going to read a verse and then we pray a verse. We read a verse and then we pray a verse. And even as we do that, God will bless us. God will surely bless us. Psalm 15 verse 1. Lord, who may stay in your tent? Who may dwell in your holy mountain? My Father, today, both myself and my dear friend who is seeking you, Lord, we are here today to ask you this question. Who may stand in your tent? Who may stay in your tent? Who may dwell in your holy mountain, Lord? Who may dwell in the place where the presence of the living God is? Lord, answer us with fire. Show us great and mighty things which you know us not, Lord. Show us great things, Lord. We want to know you. We want to know your ways, Lord. I pray this in Jesus' name. Come and touch the life of my dear friend who's watching this video. With power and with fire, I pray this in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. Verse 2. The one who lives with integrity, who does righteous deeds, and who speaks truth to himself. Father, I pray for my dear friend who's watching this video. Let my dear friend who's watching this video walk in your integrity. Let my dear friend who's watching this video walk in your truth. Let my dear friend who's watching this video receive righteousness through Christ. The righteousness that is only found through your son Jesus Christ. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Precious Holy Spirit, come and touch and impact the life of my dear friend watching this video. So that my dear friend who's watching this video can put to death the misdeeds of the body. I pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 3, the one who does not slander with his tongue, who does no evil to his neighbor, 
and who does not destroy his friend's reputation. My friend, it's so essential that we have a good heart towards other people. And this is so powerful, it's so strong. I want to read that once more. The one who does not slander with his tongue, the one who does no evil to his neighbor, the one who does not destroy his friend's reputation. Father, I pray for my dear friend who's watching this video. Lord, I pray wherever there's any slander in the life of my dear friend who's watching this video, let it be removed, Lord. I pray this in Jesus' name. Let it be removed, Lord. Lord, touch the life of my dear friend who's watching this video. Touch the life of my dear brother, my dear sister, that they will be so touched with and so filled with you so that all that they want to do towards their neighbor is good, Lord. All that they want to do is show the love of Christ. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, if there's anyone who's watching this video right now, who's been in the business of destroying other people's reputation, Lord, I pray for a change to come in the heart of that person, Lord. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Let them start to promote other people. Let them sow seeds of success into other people. Let them help other people to, to be successful so that they can be successful. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name and I thank you for it. Verse 4. The one who despises those who are utterly wicked, but honors the one who fears the Lord, who keeps his word, even when it hurts and does not change. Father, I pray for my dear friend who's watching this video. Put a desire and a love for what is right and what is righteous in the heart of my dear friend. Lord, even as you do this, may your blessing manifest on the life of my dear friend who's watching this video. Even as they love and support what is righteous, let your blessing manifest mightily on the life of my dear friend who's watching this video. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name and I thank you for it. Verse 5, who does not loan his money with interest and who does not take a bribe against those who are innocent. The one who does these things will stand firm forever. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Give my dear friend the characteristics and the keys that are in Psalm 15 in order to stand firm forever, Lord. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, wherever my dear friend is watching, even as my dear friend watches in faith and believes and trusts what I'm saying right now from your word, Lord, let them walk and stand firm forever. I pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And now, my friend, I pray for you. Right now, I rebuke any evil spirit that will cause you to walk in the wrong way. I bind it up and I cast it out by fire and by force with the power in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare you are being set free right now wherever you are. Whether it's manipulation, evil spirits causing manipulation, evil spirits causing you to harm other people. I set you free now with the power in the name of Jesus and I speak a blessing over you. You are blessed and you cannot be cursed. You are blessed in your going in, you are blessed in your coming out. Your children and your family shall be blessed even as you do what is right in accordance with the word of God. In Jesus' name, God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. Thank you for watching. If you are blessed by these videos and you would like to give a seed, feel free to do so. The link is in the description. All the seeds and the money that comes in goes towards the work of the gospel. And we really appreciate your giving. In saying that, it brings us to the end of the video. God bless you. God keep you. God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, shalom and goodbye.